it is 36 degrees outside. I was going to take my bike in for its 6,000 mile service. Uh, I'm well overdue. It's actually about 8,000 miles, but then it snowed this morning. So I'm gonna do that instead next weekend. I'm about at 800 miles with my chain since I last cleaned it. I'm going to do that today and then um, make sure the oil levels are good. Coolant levels I know are low, but my last ride, my oil levels are really low. And so I topped it off last minute, like on my way up to the mountains. So hopefully it's okay, but I don't want to do a lot of riding on it until I can get it in the service, make sure nothing's wrong uh, or that I didn't mess anything up. And I wanted to talk to you guys too about motorcycles bringing happiness. I mean, it's, it seems to be a common theme. People talk about how uh, riding has saved their life, it's made them happy, or it's changed their life, or just made them a better person. I definitely felt that way for sure when I first started riding. I've been riding about four years now, four or five years. Wait, hold on, let me get started. Most of the snow is melted by now, but the ground is still wet. So I'm sitting on a plastic bag right now. I learned something recently that kind of explains... I learned something recently that kind of explains a lot when, it, as far as coming to um, why, why we ride, why some relationships burn out after two years, why people quit jobs after two years, um, that kind of, that I thought was a really telling thing. So it's called the hedonistic principle. So this was a principle that came out about after a test done in the 70s. They looked at people who had won the lottery and interviewed them. And then also, and kind of just got an overall, just kind of collected data on their overall life satisfaction and happiness and everything. The main thing is what they found after 18 months. And then they did this kind of sa same data research with people who had been in a major accident and become disabled. And I think they went specifically for amputees, people who had lost a limb. And then what they did was with both groups, 18 months later, they looked for the same data, tried to f find out their overall level of satisfaction and happiness in life, and found that in 18 months, people who won the lottery were no longer as happy and satisfied as they were when they first won the lottery. Now, the crazy thing is, people who had lost a limb, lost a leg, lost an arm, or become disabled in, in an accident, who were very depressed when it first happened, and angry, in 18 months, they, on average, they were most, more often than not, they were no longer depressed and angry. What they found was that whether you won the lottery or whether you lost your leg, in 18 months, people went back to their same normal baseline of however they felt and viewed the world before. Which means that if you're getting a motorcycle to be happy, if you haven't done anything else for your life to change it, to make it better, and your mental health, to change the way you think and view things and deal with problems, you're going to go to the same place you were before. I started riding, and I was overcoming so many hurdles. 
I was being, I was so proud of myself doing things I never thought I would be doing. And like two years ago, I got what I thought was my dream job. And now, now I, I um, don't really appreciate that job right now. I'm lucky for the work I do. I, I get to do something creative. It takes up so much time. And if I can get a ride in once a month, like a big mountain ride once a month, that is a huge deal. Like I, I can barely manage that these days. I'm already looking for changes. Reading about investing and real estate investing and learning about people becoming financially independent so that they don't have to do this strict schedule with very specific hours. And it's always the same thing. And you have to answer to someone else. And your money is capped. Um, I don't want that. But then it also makes me think about my bike. How I've said that a Triumph Street Cup is my dream bike. Because it's so beautiful. And I ended up getting this bike because this bike rides so nicely. And I wanted to get something used and cheaper than at the time I could find Triumph Street Cups. Which were all brand new when I was looking. Um... Just because I wanted to uh, ride it as hard as possible and not feel bad if I beat it up, which I have. I don't know if you can see in the video. But it just goes to show if you're buying a motorcycle to be happy, within 18 months, you're going to need a different motorcycle. It's not enough. you got to make other changes to your life, your everyday life, and your mental space. This is not as dirty as I thought it would be. My fingers are cold. Now I need to wait 20 minutes for this to dry before I can lube it up. If you want to see how I clean and lube my chain or other videos about this kind of stuff, you can click on this playlist right here. And if you want to see more videos about this riding journey from day one to now, you can click this playlist right over here. I will see you in the next one.